Hey guys, good day. Hey, I want to go over something that um, is really, really off the wall and strange. And it's something that I've noticed with a few modern day prophetic words. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to make a reference to a video I did a while back where I said that, um, that everyone will meet Jesus face to face when he comes to gather up his bride. And uh, I'll leave a link to that video, but what I what I started off, uh, I guess, a, a few years ago, was I was always befuddled by the fact that Saul, who was the chief of sinners, who was killing Christians, that he was able to get a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting with Jesus. Like, why would, I mean, if everybody had that same meeting, everybody would believe. But why did he give it to Paul? Well, my thought is he gives it to everybody and scripture actually refers to everyone seeing Jesus face to face. But how is the Lord going to do that? How is he going to allow everybody to see Jesus face to face on a big round planet that's huge? So at the time that uh, Jesus gave Paul that one on one face to face meeting, Paul ended up being blinded for three days, which I think is synonymous with the three days of darkness. Paul experienced three days of darkness right after he saw him face to face. So in Revelation 1, we says that he's coming on the clouds and every eye will see him. How is that going to work? The flat earthers love to say that um, that's the only way that we could do this if there was a flat earth. Okay. okay. Isaiah 17, after Damascus is destroyed, it says, it says that mankind will look to his maker and mankind's eyes will look on the Holy One of Israel. Zechariah 9 says that when Damascus is destroyed again, Zechariah 9, Isaiah 17, same thing. It says when the eyes of man and all the tribes of Israel shall be toward the Lord. Jubilees 1, it says, and the Lord will appear to the eyes of all. Okay, so there's going to be this one-on-one -on -one meeting. Now there are prophetic words that actually make a reference to this. Wendy Lee had a word on July 19th in which he talked about the day of the Lord coming and what it'll be like. And this is what it says. It says, I tell you, there will not be a single person that will not that will not know who my perfect son Yeshua is. He will give everyone a chance to meet him in the physical realm, your realm, and discern their hearts to them. Father will be right there with my son. They there will be be pure excitement in the air. My holy angels will be everywhere on the earth, visible to your eyes. So Wendy Lee has this prophetic word, right? And it, it matches exactly what scripture says. That's how I know these words are real. And it makes sense. It kind of explains it to us. It kind of waters it down and gives us this, just the facts. And what happens here is for those people who don't know Jesus or who have not accepted him at the time of this one-on-one -on -one personal meeting like Saul had, they will have to spend 40 more days down here. So if somebody accepts Jesus as their savior, as he is their, as their savior, during this one-on-one -on -one meeting, they got 40 more days of trying and refining then they will be ready to meet him in the air, like it says in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17, where, the, where Jesus is going to descend and then catch everybody up in the air. But if you already know who Jesus is prior to this meeting, then you're taken right then and there. You're taken on the first fruits uh, departure rapture. So how is he going to do this on an earth with 7 billion people? Well, I've had a theory all along, and this theory is proven out by these other prophetic words. God will stop time when he takes his bride. So I have four modern day prophetic words here given by Barb, 278 Pike Lake, Diana Landris, Barbara Francis, God's Healer 7, and Gwendolyn Song. They all make references to God stopping time. Here's Barba 278. Time will seem to stand still. Okay, this is when the transformation is going to happen. And then she even mentions 40 days of chaos, just like Wendy Lee. Diana Landris, time as you know it will stop. You will be hidden in a secret place. My entire army will be trained accordingly. Your light will shine forth. Barbara Francis, I paused time for you to come to me. 
Gwendolyn Song, I will have stopped the hands of time. So that's how he's going to do it. That's what he's going to do to do this. This is going to be an absolute, just incredible supernatural event when he comes and reveals himself to every single person on the planet all at once. And that's exactly what it says in scripture. This is how we can figure out what the scripture is going to be, how it's going to be applied in the end time when the Lord comes. Okay, so another theory is how he's going to stop time. I don't know if it's going to be the case, but Ephraim Rodriguez's asteroid prophecy, it says here, according to his prophecy, it says that when the asteroid hits the earth, the earth will stop rotating for three days. So if the earth was to stop rotating, it's like time has been stopped. But still, if you look at 72 hours, there's no way that Jesus is going to visit everybody on the planet in 72 hours. That just isn't going to happen. So my theory is still he's going to have to see. See, God stands outside of time. He created time. He can pause time. He can change how time works. So with that, guys, I want to go ahead and uh, put these documents up. You can download these documents. Guys, if you don't know how to download these documents, um, it's uh it's just you just go to my videos here and like right here you click on show more and there's a document you just click download and there it is okay guys with that have a great day and god bless you